In Unit 4, Learning Set 5, which matches up with Section 5.5 in your workbook, we are going to learn about linear automobile depreciation. And you're going to, the objective for this unit is to write, interpret, and graph a straight line depreciation equation. So suppose that you purchase a car for $27,000. So when we look at that, that $27,000, that's going to be our max car value. And as cars get older, they do nothing but go down or what we call depreciate. So the, the value of the car goes down each year. According to your online research, this make and model of car loses all of its marketable value after 12 years. So this is going to be the max lifespan. So that is, it depreciates, the value goes down to a value of $0 12 years after the purchase date. If this car depreciates in a straight line form, what are the intercepts of the depreciation equa um, equation? So we're going to identify X as being the time in years because when we look at a graph for something like this, we always put time on the bottom and we put the dollar value on the y-axis. So from there, we have to figure out our line is going to lose value, so it is going down. So this is going to be when our car has its max value. In this point, our intercept is going to be when it has a value of zero dollars after the 12 year lifespan. Okay, so that means those two amounts identify our intercepts on our graph. So the first intercept on the y axis is going to be zero and the max car value so our point would actually be at zero twenty seven thousand and our other intercept our x intercept is going to be when the uh, max lifespan occurs and our value of the car is zero so that would happen at twelve zero and that would be our two points on our depreciation equation and then from there to create our depreciation equation we would use those two intercepts to determine the slope of our equation. So we're going to take those two intercepts, 0, 27,000 and 12, 0, and use the slope formula that we've used in the past in this class and in all your algebra classes and even geometry to figure out at what rate our car is depreciating each year. So just like in algebra, you would take and put your y values on the top. So it would be 0 minus 27,000. And then you're going to put your x values on the bottom. So that would be 12 minus 0. Make sure that you're going in the same direction. And because our line is going down, we know that we should end up with a negative amount. And if we don't, then that means we did something wrong and need to go back and look at it because our car will be devaluing over the years. So this car is going to depreciate at a rate of $2,250 per year. Okay, so that would be the slope for our equation. And in the next step, we're going to use this slope and our intercept to write our equation. So we know that our y-intercept is 0, 27,000, and our x, or not, I'm sorry, not x, but our slope from example 2, we determined to be 2,200, a negative 2,250. So we want to pull out our slope-intercept form that we've used in the past. We know that M is our slope, so our slope would be the two, negative 2,250, and we know that our B value 
is our y-intercept of 27,000. So our final equation would be y equals negative 2,250x plus 27,000. That would be our straight line depreciation equation. And then to graph it, I would actually use, since we know both intercepts, and we know that the other intercept is zero, um, 12 comma zero, we know that from the previous example, all we have to do is graph both points at the 27, 0, 27,000 and the 12, 0, and that would, and then con connect them, and that will be our depreciation line.